Hey guys, welcome back to the Just Book Channel. Today I'm gonna. <clears throat> so today I'm gonna be reviewing uh, Fortnite Chapter Three Season and uh Two. Sorry, I started there. So obviously, had this release today, if, if, if you're not if you're not a Fortnite fan, then and and you didn't, then I didn't. Yeah, it's okay. You know how to watch this video. So, so I know it's it's just first the first day of the season, but. Uh, I I have no ideas for videos. No, that I I've been taking a break from uh, my freaking YouTube because because I'm coming up with with an idea for my uh next Pokemon run after I I beat yeah Sun with only Decid Decidueye, which I have taken a break up like from. But hopefully in a couple of days I'll start working on on some more of those videos. So I'm gonna. Uh, split at the uh, this this video into three sections. Turns it what the loot, the map, and then miscellaneous. So first thing I start with the loot pool. I think this is, the loot pool is, is actually pretty dang decent. So, oh but with uh, on today's new season, uh, we got the new who uh, a striker. Or a burst or a rifle, which I actually like quite a bit, cause I, I used to be absolutely cracked with the old og, hug, hug and uh, they now how they made it made it for having basically the MK, and yeah, I honestly I honestly rate it. <clears throat> and by the way, just so you know, uh, and creative, have uh now how the uh the gold the purple and legendary regular burst rifle is not the famas. Which kind of sucks, but yeah. Hey, it, it's, it's not at least it's not the same bloom as a uh, gray through blue. We also oh got the uh, the combat SMG. Hey, okay, which if you didn't, hey no, this this was this was as uh this could have released back like in uh chapter chapter two season eight because. <clears throat> As it was uh, combat SMG versus combat AR, or in the vote, combat AR won obviously. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't have the MK. Not like that, but well, we'd have have the combat sorry from the season. <clears throat> Honestly, this is this is a really good gun. This, I think, I my opinion is better than the Stinger SMG. And that's really saying something because the Stinger SMG is really good. So yeah, those are the two new weapons. Uh, uh then uh, we all also got uh, the drum shotgun unvaulted with some with some minor changes. And yes, it got it got a purple and gold version, and uh, its damage was buffed, but its fire fire rate was nerfed. And honestly, I I honestly I I'm, I'm I rate the drum shotgun. I I think it's a really fun gun. He had the wrong gun. And, um, yeah. I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> then we also oh, got the, th the thermal assault rifle unvolted. Hit on. I'm trying to find a picture. Whatever, I can't find it, but uh, uh just so you know, how oh, odd, uh, I'd uh, uh, it got reskinned, and it, it's more of a, like uh, like the suppressed sniper's color, but uh, so anyways, I think this is an a decent weapon. It it's better than the ranger, but I don't think it's as good as the striker burst rifle. Oh, uh, it's it's okay. Everyone was hyping it up and all, it, it it's okay. It's not amazing. It's not particularly bad either. It tried to be the MK, but it failed. Oh, uh, we got sh a, a shockwit head grenades back. Which, I, which, I, which I'm pretty happy with. These things are a lot of fun. 
Like these these are definitely great. And yeah, th these things are really good for movement. I I I really like these. So now then we're gonna get on with the vaults. And and uh so well, the first weapon that got vaulted was the heavy shotgun. Sadly, it didn't last quite so long. But yeah, got gotten. So that's bolted now. And then what also got hot bolted was has the gun that was leaked for two years. Or it was it was leaked at two years in advance. I, I honestly really like the machine pistol. I, I, I think it's a fun gun. But yeah, that gun. One of the biggest ones. Hands up. Hands the Spider-Man mythic. Okay, that got vaulted. This was a this this is one this is the best mythic of all time. <clears throat> I'm going to miss this. This was a lot of fun using. It was great for movement. It was a lot of fun. It was really common. But yeah, that sounded like that, that, got, that got vaulted. As well as the MK7 Assault Rifle. Sadly. Because it, it, it probably got replaced by the, the Striker or uh, a Burst Rifle. And also uh, a Thermal Assault Rifle. But yeah, that's gone. Clingers were also vaulted, sadly. Yeah, I, I think these are these aren't that really that great, but still, like I said. Uh, guzzle juice. Who's I like to call it drugs because it looks like it. Yeah, yeah. You probably didn't notice that at first because of how freaking forgettable this item is. And then finally, the last thing that got vaulted was the clawberry. Oh wait, there. And but besides, one more thing after this. I saw. So the clawberry was vaulted, and clumbos are gone. Epic Games, bring back hack the clumbos right now, please. And then finally, the, the final thing that you probably didn't notice, which is gone, is the Quad Crasher. It only lasted one season. Really fun on mobility, but we did get tanks, though. So, uh, so then, later in the season, we are going to uh, uh, get back uh, guys, some more weapons. And uh, like the heavy sniper, that that's come back later this season, we know that for sure. It's like the files that's gonna do a lot of damage to vehicles. Nope, I I. Do. All right, so the chop has come back later this season. It's get, it's not gonna be the orange red though. It's gonna be uh, a blue for the IO. Either of the seven. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one. And then we also got hot hot that tanks, which I th I think that this 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 is a lot of fun. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. You could you could easily play. He kill people with it. Really fun. But honestly, I read it. So yeah, that's a bit about it for the loophole. I'm gonna have to give this an eight. Or no, I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. This, it's a lot. These are a lot of fun. Oh, um, by the way, I forgot to mention the revolvers back as well. But what did? But they ruined it. They ruined the revolver though. 
I absolutely, I, I absolutely hate the odd, uh, hate the um, uh, purple and gold version of the revolver, but love the blue version below. I think, I think the blue version is better than the the gold. Oh, but then, but now, how they're all reskinned into the, the purple and gold version, which I am not happy with. Epic, please refer to that. I, I liked it way better. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention we still have have a the owl shotgun, the stinger SMG, a hey, striker pump shotgun, ranger assault rifle, obviously harpoon gun, chunk splashes, uh, a men mist shield keg. Oh wait, I forgot to mention that the pizza party's gone too for some reason. Why are they why are they removed all that much? Yeah, cool. So yeah, I'm gonna give it the loophole of the season and a half. So with this new season, we got quite a lot of map changes. So a lot of residential areas has in POIs, has such as the Daily Bugle, Hakone Crossroads, Tilted Towers, uh, a Covered Cavern, Rocky Reels, and Condo. Oh, ca uh, Cannon, yet yeah, no, I was about to say Cavern accent. Uh, are now have have giant Zeppelins above above them. Have and not only that, but they're taken over by the IO. Well, besides, it's co Cover ca Cavern, which is now how Command and uh, Cavern. Cause, cause it not the inside has not changed at all. Oh, the inside of the mountain has not changed at all, but the outside has. Has changed significantly. It's literally just, it. It literally just got better. There's no, there's nothing. Nothing that was nerfed about. In fact, it only just got more overpowered. Cause now there's two bosses there. The mythic, the mythic thermal. Oh, uh, sorry, fool. From the uh, new master key, he, who's part of the IO now. And then you still have Gunner's mythic, mythic SMG. The only mythic like weapon from a boss to stay for two seasons in a row. And then we also got some the holes everywhere. And two other new POIs. Hizad. I forgot what this one was called. But it's... So right here, as you can see right here. Right, this is one of the new locations. I forgot what it's called. It's extremely forgettable. It's not that good. And also we got all these, these craters. It's probably from them I'm fighting. And then, believe it or not, this entire, her, uh, her frick, not, not Tilted Towers, but this, oh. In the middle right there, her, that, the entire drill is one POI. It is not a good POI. It's really not that great. It's just that drill. It, it has Dr. Sloan at it, but the thing is, it's so small. It has so few chests that's not worth landing at. It is. <clears throat> I was gonna say right, right here, right now. This is one of the worst POIs in Fortnite. It does not supply enough loot. It, it is extremely plain and boring. <clears throat> not only that, but it's, it, but it's extremely hard to dub. I actually live in. So yeah, this 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 is getting a two out of ten. But yeah, I'd rank this two out of ten. That was POI. This is the worst POI for it. <clears throat> Besides Coral Castle. Coral Castle is a million times times worse than this thing. <coughs> so with the blimps, so I'm gonna I really I'm I'm a big fan of the blimps. I'm and all. I think it really spices up the map. Uh, but this season, I don't think the blimps are enough. Sure, we got two new POIs, but they're not great. Or we'll talk about the three. If you caught Cotton Claw, or a Command, and a Cavern. Uh, 
Here, which, which, which I actually, I, I'm actually, I actually got it right. It's even better than before. So yeah, I'm gonna have to give this new map. I, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a five. It, it doesn't have enough map changes. The map changes aren't too amazing. Besides the blimps, those are cool. The, the blimps are the only thing saving this season with the map changes. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what this terrible drill is called, it's called uh, the fortress, even though it's not a fortress at all. I don't think, I definitely don't think that's a fortress. All right, now with the miscellaneous section. And, uh, uh, so this season for the first, her, for so for another week, basically probably until next update, there's no building. <clears throat> and, and I'm just going to say this right now. This is an amazing decision. The, the game feels fresh now. The, there's no, no, there's no more, there's no, no things that, there's no such thing called a sweat. And th this, this is one of the main things redeeming the season. Th no builds is an amazing, is an amazing decision. I think this is, is a great idea that, and Fortnite, I should do this more often where, or they spice up each season with like no builds or something. Cause holy crap, is it, it feels a lot more fresh. It's easier to kill people. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention. And the the, the so the the uh, Fortnite Overshield, whole brand new who today. Yeah, pretty cool. I I it's pretty. I I don't. It's not too useful, but still, it's pretty nice. I used to have have the tactical overshield. Hold it. It's kind of annoying because it's to every it get it's to everyone. And they and after like like five seconds, it starts healing you again, which can be kind of annoying because they're just constantly going to be getting free shield. But still, it's really nice. Um. Uh, So now we have climbing in Fortnite as well. Th this is a this is a positive, definitely. I don't think they can. I don't think you can tell me how, that there's any negatives to this at all. This just make makes it a lot more interesting. Kind of pr pretty nice, nice feature. So, and then we also have the. I guess I'm just gonna say the trick. So we also have have the uh, the the tactical sprint, and to, to make you go faster, pretty nice feature. The only problem with it is that you can't hold out any weapons, which I but I can see that that that's pretty fair. And I understand why they did that. So yeah, it's pretty balanced, really nice for mobility. And I wonder how fast you go. Oh, with this, with a, with a pepper, Jesus, that sounds like awful. What to deal with? If you're trying to aim at someone with a sniper, that is. Damn, I, I should probably check, check what happens. Oh yeah, that's a really nice feature. And then I should probably go over the... Uh... The battle pass. This is one of the more interesting ones. I I I looked at the battle pass. That's quite a bit. I no one's gonna show, just gonna show you an image from official. Yeah, there you go. Oh, this so this is the battle pass, including Gunner, but we've all seen Gunner. I. I don't think we. I really need to show them at all. So I think I think this battle pass is pretty decent. A lot of storyline figures, 
her as like the origin and the uh the imagined the kind of a weird name, but okay. Uh Doctor Strange is a prowler. For some reason I thought he was Baron Zemo at first. Person, but for, but I was stupid and, and thought that it, but I was stupid and it's actually the prowler. I probably should have realized that. <laughs> And then obviously we got the anime chick, like who everyone's simping over. Uh, Hasuki, he 2.0, that the Segway girl, who didn't who didn't love that Segway emo. That, that, that's that's the best emo in the game. The battle pass by far. That that hey, that's amazing. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to give this battle pass a seven out seven out of ten. I know that. Hi, uh, how far has been doing common theme with, with uh, what, what uh, what skins they make the tier hundred? Or like they're all, uh, are all collaborations with with uh, m with uh, companies who are making like a new TV show or a new movie releasing during that season, and uh, uh and then getting one of the characters. They did this this with uh, Rick and, and Morty season five. I uh, that was about that was the tier hundred of season seven. And uh, season eight, it was tier hundred was Carnage. And then at the time, the third be Carnage came out. Last season, Spider Man came out, and obviously, No Way Home, amazing movie. You should probably see it. It came out. How would with the Spider Man skin? And then and now, uh, Multiverse of Madness is coming out, and they obviously release he's not strange, but I honestly don't. I think they should have made him the secret skin instead of the Prowler. Not, I, I just don't think he, he deserves to be in the tier 100. I can see, like, a tier 80. He, that's fair with me. I think the Orden should be tier 100. I also think that's fair. But they decided to make Doctor Strange the tier 100, which I don't think was a great idea. And then, and finally, we got, we got him more in the loss of the combo. Nope, not videos. Yep, but we're just gonna have a moment of silence. The, all all of those comments, all all those videos comments should be uh, just all, only Fs, please. This we lost Huss, the great friend, from the the seat today. We we didn't think he was gonna go. He didn't he didn't deserve this bad of a fate. Kwame boy, may you rest in peace. And with that, because the government have Kwame boy zero out of ten. The season's awful, terrible season. All jokes aside, I don't have to give this season 7 out of 10 so far. This season reminds me a lot of Chapter 2, Season 7. This season is extremely similar. Alright, the map changes feel extremely similar to what they did in Chapter 2, Season 7. Had basically take over her theme, invasion kind of thing. Basically the exact same, almost the exact same theme. Hey, my... Freaking kind of things hovering over her certain POIs as in both seasons. And, uh, I, I, I'd give, I, I'd basically, I, in my opinion, would give Hive Chapter 2 Season 7 a uh, 7 out of 10. And ironically. So, yeah, I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this. You know what, I'm gonna give the season seven out of ten. I would give give it eight out of ten, maybe even nine if I was nice enough. If they hadn't got if they hadn't got Rev Re Re Boy. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Like probably like about a week. See ya. Rest in peace, Clubbo.